Mr. Kelso. That's what the sign on the door says, miss. There's no need to come into the office, Ms. Lichtman. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. I don't accept this. What settlement. do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay. Let me get the case file. There's got to be more in these files. Sounds like your friend took a hell of a fall. I'm sorry for your loss. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. You and Buck Walter weren't married? No. And how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. You really want to know? Yes. We were interned together on Ellis Island. Resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. Do you see the irony in that, Mr. Kelso? We spent four years there. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Blue Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. What are you talking about, Ms. Lichtman? This was an industrial accident. How do you know that? Because it says right here in black and white. Do you believe everything that you read, Mr. Carso? So the roof collapsed. Accidents happen. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Ms. Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. You expect me to believe that you have no ulterior motive? That money means nothing to you? I believe that money has value. I believe your work defines who you are. And you should be paid relative to the quality of your work. If you wish to simply interrogate me for your own enjoyment, Mr. Kelso, then I will answer no more questions. Here is my number. Call me when you are prepared to help. I'll be in touch. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack, upstairs. Come on, I'll walk you up. Come on, Jack, get going. You can make eyes at me later. Mr. Benson, you wanted to see me? Ah, oh, yes, Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I noticed Elsa Lickman in the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Like I said, Curtis, 
This is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lichtman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Elsa Lichtman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of She's the it. beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Well, Ms. Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that she's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into is it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Defense. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Thanks, Mr. Vince. Your car, Mr. Kelso. Thanks, kid. That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. Someone is cutting corners. Leland Monroe, the man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. Bulldozing and starting again. just can't be walking around down here. I'm Jack Kelso from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off. I'm investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter and- You deaf? Do I have to beat on you? Looks like you do. You're a real asshole. I came to see the house where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate and three houses down on the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight.
the place falls down and then they bulldoze it. What gives here? Let's try to piece this together. That's not right. Keystone Films? Who gets their lumber from a film studio?
Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is... 658 North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? No, thank you, ma'am. Hi, Mac. I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. At a housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? I found some lumber over there had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. They're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. Here, here. 
And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So, how is your new development selling, Leland? Cannot throw them up fast enough, Ray. And that's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now, that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds via the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean uh, our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise three billion dollars. I need to find a game well or a telephone. In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen join forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to three years. Operator, Los Angeles Police Dispatch, if it's not too much trouble. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buck Walter case? Mr. Benson? Are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Luke Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Auf Wiedersehen, Mr. Kelso. Thanks. What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's plan. not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risks. 
Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help, and he hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. You lose something, Mac? I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Let's put a few. Don't get impatient now. I'll get to each one time of you for in good you time. to lose some teeth. All right. I'm about to break your goddamn jaw. Shouldn't have tangled with me, friend. You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. Sure, he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduced themselves. <laughs> what do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Yeah, I know a good place. I'll pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next.
Sorry, pal. Desperate times. Control your car. I ain't got time for this. Can't you see what's happening? Monroe owns the city. Owns the cops. What the hell? Sorry, pal. Desperate times. What's your problem? Monroe owns the city. Owns the cops. I need to find Elsa. Please, damn it! I'm in a rush! I'll be needing this. Ah, please drive carefully! Out! Right now! Where are they? Is that the last of them? I got a job to do. Still carrying that Army 45, Cole. For God's sake, Cole! Call an ambulance!
Satchel charges on the cave entrance from above. Covering fire on weapons team. Look for snipers in the trees. You know the drill. No risks, no heroes, no prisoners. You want some roast on this one, Sarge? No, you guys have done enough. Head back to Webs. We are going to blow every cave we come across. Close them down and move on, people. Damn. I was hoping to get me a samurai sword. Skipper says that Phelps has fallen behind again. He's got his fire team's checking every cave. He's lost another flamethrower. I want you to get over there and hurry them along. Ho, boom. Weapons Company. Sir. Sir. We have a major cave complex in front of us, Hogaboom. I want flamethrowers and BAR teams to clean it out. Begging your pardon, sir. But if it's a big complex, why don't we bring the Shermans in? They could pour it in there. We can't wait for tanks to be brought up. I'm already behind. Then blow the cave. No skin off our nose. Bury them We in are it. going in there and clearing them out. We are doing it by the numbers, Sergeant. Get your team in place. We're moving out. Mount up! First fire team and flamethrowers, head in! Where's he going? Where's who going? The big cowboy. He's going in. Who gave that order? You did. sitting there. Not long, Mr. Kelso. You look lovely, Princess. You haven't exactly caught me at my best. It's okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Cole needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for RKO, Warner Brothers. Set carpenter? Perfect. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. That's perfectly understandable, Mr. Jack. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. I hope so too, Princess. I'd like that. Are you Kelso? Who's asking? Peterson, Assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about... There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First they send you over a drink, then they buy you dinner, then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm going to run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get 150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's going to get me elected. I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? You think I fell down the stairs? <laughs> 